In this video, I'm gonna show you a tool that will help you remove unwanted grain or noise from your videos. Okay, so the best way to get really good footage out of your camera is to have a great camera, to have a great lens, and to have really good lighting and to use all of them together with the proper settings to get the perfect shot. Unfortunately, this just isn't always the reality. I know a common issue that I run into is I have an ND filter that I use outside when I'm in a really sunny and bright area and then I'll move to like the shadow of a tree or somewhere where it's nowhere near as bright as I was before. I will totally forget to adjust my ND filter or my ISO or whatever it is and then the shot is really grainy, particularly in the shadows. Or this can also just be a factor that you run into when you're just using your phone or you're using a camera that doesn't have that wide of an aperture on the lens attached to it. You just end up with some grain or some noise that just makes the image not quite as pretty or as nice as it could be. Whatever the case, I have tried a number of different tools with all the different editing software that I've used in the past. And none of it really seemed to work all that well. It just kind of seemed to mush and soften my image so much that it would almost be unusable. That is until I came across a plugin by the name of Neat Video and it works amazingly well. Now, unfortunately, this software is fairly expensive, but in my personal opinion, if you do video work regularly and you find yourself even occasionally running into an issue where you've just got too much noise or grain in some of your video footage, I would highly recommend picking this plugin up. Plus it works great in Premiere, Final Cut, and DaVinci Resolve. So regardless of the type of software you're using, more than likely you're going to be able to get this plugin for your editing software of choice. Okay, without any further delay, let's go ahead and take a quick look at this plugin in action. Okay, so for this particular example, I have a very extreme example. So I literally shot this with almost all the lighting off in my office. I put an ND filter on and I cranked the ISO way up. And so then what I've also done is I've gone through and, and color graded this, but as you can see, this is utterly abysmal. You've got just grain and noise everywhere. I've never actually put it to the test with footage that is this grainy, and I doubt I will ever run into a situation unless I'm just completely not paying attention to my camera settings and my lens setup. This should never be an issue. But what I wanted to do just to show you a super extreme example of how much grain and noise can actually be removed by this plugin. So again, as you can see, this is just an abysmal image, so much noise in every shadowy or even light part of this image that makes it almost unusable. You would probably not want to use this on any video project. So I went ahead and I have already brought this into Adobe Premiere. And again, this will also work in Final Cut Pro as well as DaVinci Resolve. I've just recently switched over to Premiere. Okay, so we have my uh, adjustment layer in here. I've got my color graded footage, but again, as you can see, it's just got that super massive, ugly graininess that we want to get rid of. So all I have to do is head on over to my effects panel after I have installed the plugin. And all I have to do is search for neat, and then we'll see reduce noise version five. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this directly onto my video clip. I'm gonna scroll on down and we'll see that the effect for reduce noise version five has been added to my video. The next thing I need to do is just click prepare. And then we'll see here that the profile is not ready because we haven't actually analyzed our footage yet. We're just gonna go ahead and click build and then it's going to start rendering and preparing the frames for that particular piece of footage. The next thing we'll see is this nice little pop-up window that shows our footage. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hunt through our image and we're going to try to find the area that is A, the most uniform and B, has the most noise. So this area over here looks pretty bad. So as you can see, I never see a number that high. Usually when I'm fixing my footage, I see maybe six or seven or even eight at the very highest. So this is an extreme example. You can also do some hunting. So if you see like over here, it's like a 13. So essentially, like I said, you're just trying to find the place that's going to be the easiest or most uniform for the software to be able to pick up 
just how grainy this image is. So there we go, 16.5 is pretty significant. It's nice and uniform. By the way, if you do try to pick an area that's not uniform, it's gonna tell you. So that's helpful as well, but you wanna help the software do its job as best as you possibly can. Again, see that it says that's not uniform. We'll pick a little bit of a smaller place, 16.7, 16.4, that should work. Now there are a lot of customizations you can do in here, but 99% of the time, and again, it comes in beginner mode and you can switch that to advanced mode to do some serious fine tuning. But part of why I like this software so much is you can just keep it in beginner mode just click build profile, it's gonna analyze this image. And then all you gotta do is just click on adjust and preview. And you just give it a few seconds and it's going to do just an amazing job at filtering this out. So I'm gonna apply this real quick. We'll give it a second to actually render in the preview here. And then you're gonna be able to see just how amazing a job this actually does at removing the noise. As you can see, there is still a teeny bit of noise, but overall it did a fantastic job, not only at removing the noise, as you can see just how like silky smooth this image is, particularly the, the blurred out of focus area, but it did a really good job of maintaining the sharpness of the image that's in focus or the portion of the image that's still in focus. So amazing job. So let's go ahead and export this and take a look at our before and after. Okay, so here we are. Let's go ahead and take a look at our before one more time. We can just see how incredibly ugly this is. So tons of grain, just really an unusable image. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at our fresh export. As you can see, it's like a different image. There is still a teeny tiny bit of artifacting that's taking place, a little bit of grain, but nothing that would ruin the image. This image was shot with settings that would have been pretty much unusable, but because of the ability this plugin has to salvage images and just remove all that extra grain, it just did a fantastic job. And again, this example that I just showed you is significantly more extreme than what I have done in any of my projects. So typically when I'm working on removing grain, we're talking about, you know, seven, eight at the top end of the amount of grain that we're actually removing. This was up to 15 and it just did an incredible job. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful for you. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to leave links in the description, not only to neat videos, you can check that out, but I'm also gonna give you a download link to the before and after footage that I have shown you in this video. And I just wanna do that because I can only obviously show you up to the limitations of what YouTube shows you on the screen that you're currently watching this on. So if you wanna be able to zoom in and see super close up just how good of a job it did before and after on this extremely grainy footage that I shot for this example. Again, you're gonna be able to find that linked in the description. Okay, so if you did find this video useful, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.